Support School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Werner Tobin here for Real Agriculture, joined again by Rob Miller from BASF. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about corn fungicides now. And hey, Rob, it's been a dry year, and a lot of people yeah. are wondering, hey, you know, what about fungicides this year? How is it going to work? What's the application timing? You know, um, is there yield potential to protect in this crop? And you had an interesting thought about, you know, how growers can assess their fields. Yep, for sure. So, you know, we've been very dry here. We've had less than half inch moisture in, in the last six weeks. So the corn is no doubt under some drought stress. But for the most part, if it is uncurling or, or unfolding at night, that's still a positive sign. If it's still curled up for, you know, um, at 9 a.m. in the morning, or if it's curled up all day and curled up all night, that's where you're starting to lose your yield potential. So we're conserving moisture, but we're still opening up looking for sunlight in yep. the daytime. We're still opening up looking for sunlight, sunlight in the daytime, increasing that photosynthesis during the daytime. Yes, we might kind of curl up, uh, the leaves might curl up in the afternoon in this, you know, the heat of the day, but as long as they're unfolding at night, that yield potential is still there. No doubt we could use a a nice rain in the next few weeks but the corn is able to still adapt yep. um, if you know, we we haven't had any dew this morning you know our we've been walking around the grass our boots are dry but if you actually reach into the corn plant and pull out that whirl you can actually see that there is a still bit fair bit of moisture What's there it? and that that is beating off the plant we haven't had moisture here for a good 10 days we had a tenth of an inch 10 days ago but we're still seeing that moisture on that leaf right now in that world so there still is that yield potential so it's first week of july so you know we're starting to assess do we need that fungicide application and for the most part as long as your corn has high yield potential uh, it's not curling up it's not turning into pineapples in the day that yield potential is still there we're still able to draw some moisture from those roots and uh, and increase that yield potential so Rob, what about disease this year? I mean, in the past we've seen, you know, eye spot, northern corn leaf blight. You know, what type of impact have we seen this year? Yeah, so last year we haven't seen, we saw a lot more northern leaf blight, especially earlier in the season. This year with the dry weather, we haven't seen that much leaf disease show up. We've seen northern in a couple plots, depending on the hybrid, but that can easily change. Historically, northern leaf blight and eye spot don't show up till later in August. So if we get a couple inches of rain, hopefully, or even just a little bit of moisture, we might just start to see those diseases show up. Mm -hmm. The thing to remember about those diseases, if you see them on the top part of the canopy, they have a greater potential to cause an impact on yield. Mm -hmm. If you see on the bottom part of the canopy, especially this time of year, doesn't really have that much effect on yield, but they can easily move up the, the, uh, the corn plant as long as we do have some moisture. Mm -hmm. The thing is, in dry weather, we typically see a little bit more common rust. Right. We saw that in the wheat crop, we have that potential. It did overwinter a little bit further north in the U.S. Uh, so potentially we could be have a little bit more leaf rust this year in corn. You know, it could blow in with some of these thunderstorms that hopefully pop up in the U.S. and uh, and also show up. So that's why you always want to use a fungicide with two modes of action. Okay, so let's talk about application timing now. Given you know the situation here, it's dry. Um, what should growers be thinking about from a timing application perspective? Yep. So we've done a number of fungicide research plots over the last 12 years, grower applied field research locations, and even in a dry year, we still see that benefit to that that fungicide application for the most consistent yield responses and disease control. From our data, we have seen that at that tassel timing is provide you with the most consistent return on investment, especially in a dry year. So it's, it's still, the timing really doesn't change. Timing really doesn't change. Most consistent results are at that early tassel to full tassel time frame. If you're a ground applicator and want to go in, you know, a little bit before tassel, say a, a couple days prior to that tassel emergence, that still is better than, than going in at this stage. You'll by far get more return on investment because the leaves from the cob to the top of the plant are the ones that contribute most to your yield. Awesome, so hey, hopefully we get a little bit of rain here with tassel comes quick and everybody gotta get going, okay? Yep. Awesome, thanks for Perfect. your time. Thanks very much for having me.